Welcome back to our NCAA Football 14 Dynasty. We've got Malik Mitchell in the Heisman, maybe? I don't know. But uh, taking a look at his stats, so 3,000 yards? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. 3,111 yards, 33 touchdowns, 6 picks. Not a, not a bad completion percentage at 77. That's I believe that's a record. Only taking 11 sacks on the season. Uh, let's go to rushing. So Holly. Nick Holly's doing pretty well. 561, a little above uh, 4-0 average. 10 rushing touchdowns. I mean, <laughs> not going to really get upset about that. Miles Washington. Yeah, it's been a drop-off here, but uh, Holly came back. Of course, he's going to get more carries. Mitchell's had... More attempts than uh, Washington. He's run for two touchdowns. Let's take a look at receiving. Sean McCoy really has stepped it up. Look at that, 68 overall. It's not even supposed to be good. But he's got 869 yards and 10 touchdowns on the season. Johnny Woods has six. Chris White has five. Chris White, the senior, 517. That's not a bad season for his senior year. What did he do in his junior year? 842. Okay, and he got eight touchdowns. So he's on par to basically have a very similar season. I mean, 87 overall. What? What was that? 99 awareness, 99 catching. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, we got to get it to that dude way more. So we might have to break it out the last half of the season here. Uh, what did I want to show you? Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you Heisman Watch. Because we're kind of sneaking up in there. Look at that. Last game, 40 of 47. 484 yards, 8 touchdowns. Now, we did throw 2 picks in the game, but, hey, man, it was a basketball score, 63-23. If I keep throwing up scores like that, man, you know, we'll be solid. 46 passing touchdowns is the record. Maybe we can do it. I don't know. But this dude, Malik Mitchell, better go pro. They better not jip him on, like, uh, off-season training points. So this is where we stand with Justin Johnson. We keep falling, so we're fourth. Uh, found another dude, Quentin Keys, uh, number 70 overall quarterback. Not bad. We're third on his board. Mike Arnold, still first. Anthony Mobley, we're second now. Uh, Courtney Shaw, still first. Not by much, though. 324 pounds, that's a big dude. Ivan Nelson, first. It's a tall corner. Aaron Davidson, first. Uh, not a bad-sized middle linebacker, or outside linebacker. Not bad at all. Uh, middle linebacker, Johnny Wilkinson. I really liked him, but he's not going to give us a chance. And then the tackle, Andy Johnson, we're first. So, Steven Stewart committed, 60 overall. And Nate Johnson committed. So, recruiting hasn't changed, man. It's pretty much uh, been the same. Kind of sucks, but oh well. So that's a brief overview. We're playing a conference opponent. Let go. I mean, we'll eventually get that back. You know, we'll eventually get that running back. That's just too much. There we go. Good job, White. Kavius Price in the slot, McCoy. And let's make a good read. There you go, McCoy. 12 yards. Mitchell started early. Shouldn't have anything to worry about. So use our all purpose back, Nick Holly, on the screen. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Gee whiz. Oh, that was almost. It's second down. All right, five and five. I see you, McCoy. Linebackers are up. Johnny Woods. Nice, McCoy. Get drugged down. It's all good. All right, so two and a half minute drive. Can't complain. There we go. Fall for second and five. Ooh. Really don't like passing in the red zone, but you gotta do what you gotta do. 
There you go, Chris White, touchdown. Yes. As long as we get it to the wide receivers, it makes Justin Johnson want to come here more. Our number one target. Boom. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the Antoine Dixon out right. Hit him early. There you go, kid. The 16 yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. Kent State is up by four. Mm, how's this one gonna work? Ball. Touchdown. Senior Ryan Malone. God, this tight end is nasty. He is a great route runner. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. Dude, that's a rope, man. Player. He's just as good at blocking that that ball wasn't intercepted. From the 22 yard line, second down. See what kind of read we can make here. Makes it there we go. Reverse field, eight yards. Okay, so we have converted all of our third down conversions. Who was that? Flynn? Alex Flynn? Swift. Not a touchdown. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I'm running a wide receiver mid screen. Oh, come on. You gotta block him better. Possession ball game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Easy, Cavius Price. Nice. I was kind of eyeing him. So there's three touchdowns. My dude. And for Mitchell, that's his third touchdown pass of the first half. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. And he adds the extra point. So a 14-play, 82-yard drive. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Let's go. And he's hit immediately. Yes. Oh, that was a huge ball. That'll push him over the hundred yard quarter. So this kid could really end up with a big game. Looks to him again, complete. And they make the stop. Dang. The two yard line. Almost had the touchdown. Their third and last time out. That makes it first and goal. So they decide to We're gonna go for the field goal, three man. Three points before the half ends. There we go. And it's through the uprights. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. Let's take a look at scores around the country. The Bobcats have the perfect connection and a touchdown. We played a half of football. The Golden Flashes in front. 24-6 yard line. Uh-oh. Let's go, Holly. That's a touchdown. What a run. 27 yards. Not bad. And that was on a read option, too. Good blocking. There are so many different ways. Oh, yeah. Today, he's done it with his feet. I think he's easily one of the most complete players in the country. He hits the PAT. It was an eight play, 80 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. So our score 38 6, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mitchell's poised right now, Kirk, here in the third quarter. He's such a solid player. I mean, he's everything we expected, and then some, I think. The one word that comes to mind with this young man is just consistency. I mean, he, he seems to be able to go out here and almost every single series, he gives his offense a chance to be able to have a drive, sustain that drive, and eventually put points up on the board. And he Who got the sack? Today for this defense to be able to try to continue. Oh, that's uh, one, uh, Quan Robinson Jr. Nice. Don't be surprised to see the old coach. Way to come in. To protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23 yard line. Good pass 
Good D. Good job, Bourne. Could have picked it, though. See if we can use her a Boig Bay, get him a sack. There we go. I knew I could do it. Sack number two, multi-sack game. Boom, swim move. Boom, just too quick. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Martin to punt. Okay, Raekwon. Not bad. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Kent State. I really want to hit White. He heaves it deep. Dang. Almost had it. Was the intended receiver on the play. Well, Herbie, we really didn't see this one coming. Total dominance through three quarters. Kent State leads 38-6. This one has been a blowout since the beginning. Hopefully, the fourth quarter will turn things around. Oh, that's a move, but he took a huge hit. There's 119, not bad on 12 attempts. From the 41 yard line, it's third down. Let's see if we can make my reads. I got rid of it. Come on. It'll be the second time that he found the quarterback today. Akeem Allen. You know, yeah, we're going for it. Just cuz. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He wants it all going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. If they'd punted, they would have pushed him back pretty far. Turnover, but whatever. On fourth down, they've given him pretty decent field position. Not a great gamble by going for it. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he just Not today. Gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 48. Come on, make a mistake. Oh, dang it, I got hit in the hole. It's about four yards on the draw play. That'll bring up third and six. We're going to use Reggie Culver, freshman D end. Oh, he was too open. There before he stepped out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. They come out on an empty backfield. He zips it. Ball. Foot in. Wontez McCray. I think that's, what, four picks on the season? I think that interception pretty much sums up this game. The throw was lousy, and the yes. defense simply stepped up and made yet another play. First and ten, ball on the twenty-one yard line. Didn't even let him score a touchdown, man. That's the goal. There we go. Holly gains about five yards on the run. One twenty-four on thirteen. Brings up second and five. See if we can get those blocks out there. Oh, 
Come on, peeps. The 27 yard line. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There you go, Raekwon James. Give me six. Gain of six yards. First down. Just wasting time. Runs outside for another. There you go, Miles. Give me seven. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Let's go, Miles. Oh, come on. Here's 30. So I think all of our backs are in double digits. Ah. At the 44 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 44. See who's in. All right, Washington. Two minutes in the game. We'll give him another carry. Tackle made. There we go, 13. Chewing him up. That makes it first and ten. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five. Set. Yo, Raekwon just put the move on him for fifteen. I really like Raekwon James, man. This dude is—he's fast. He's shifty. This is the tenth play of this drive. Yeah, we can go with the fake bubble screen. We're gonna draw play. Tackle at about the 15. Ah, one yard. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Yeah, so we ran the ball pretty well on that drive. Let's see if we can get another tutty. Yep, Sean McCoy. Dude's nasty. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. Studio update. Western Michigan. Doesn't matter. Is lined up to kick this one off. Murphy deep to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Golden flashes have really been... All right, three sacks, one pick, one force fumble, three pass breakups. We got this. They are playing with a reckless attitude. And it's really paid off because it set up their offense to be able to score points. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. See what we can do with Reggie Culver. Yep. User swap. Went for the pick, too. That's not an easy play to make. From their own 25 yard Kind of had a feeling they were going to run the screen, anyways. Ooh, got the sack. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Watch, 
Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. That's the game. Time for everybody to head to the locker room. Yeah, boy. Kent State staff just mm, got it done on time. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. Under 10 points. I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Yeah, defense stepped up. Like, cray. Boom. Dot City. Am I going to get, like, any more? Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm close enough. All right, yeah, no upgrades. But I was close. Let's take a look at the stats, player stats. Okay, 27 to 35, 366. Five touchdowns, no picks. Sacked twice, though. Rushing 124 for Holly. One touchdown, 43 for Miles Washington. 29 for James. Receiving 207. For Sean McCoy, two touchdowns. 35 for Dixon, 40 for Malone in a touchdown. White, 29 in a touchdown, 37 for Woods. Holly, 10. Price, 2 in a touchdown. Flynn, 6. Raekwon, 0. Let's see, defensive. Let's see, sacks. 2 for Boygbe, 1 for John Cunningham, 1 for Quan Robinson. Interception, 1 for Wontez McCray. Forced fumble, James Alexander. We did a ton of tackles with him. Solos. Alexander. Oh, come on. Total tackles was six, four. So Marcus Elliott got five. Okay. 45 to six. We played a beat down on him. Should cement our number one spot. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later.